Welcome to Devil May Cry the Bloody Palace. In this video, we're going to be showing you the Hunter phase. James, do you want to give us a, give us a run through? Yeah, let's have a look. So, um, some real basic stuff about gameplay here. So, the game plays through a series of rounds. Uh, in each round, each player controlling yep. a hunter takes a turn in the hunter phase. Yep. Then we jump into the enemy phase where a bunch of evil demons are going to try to rip your face off. Ugh. Which is not great, but it's okay because, first of all, you have the hunter phase in which you get to stop them from doing that. Phew. And you do that with a hand of attack cards. Very as well good. as using these, you can run yep. on your turn, which is make a single move of up to your speed value in hexes. So Nero, I'm using Nero here, because yep. I mean Nero, he's like, you know, main, arguably oh, the main oh, character of DMC5, yeah. you know, possibly the coolest. Uh, we'll see. Depends. But um, yeah, he's got a really sort of nice broad move set, and yeah. he's a great way to show off how some of the basics work. Uh, so he's got movement value, a speed value, sorry, of six, so he can move six hexes yep. once during his turn, and then he can play a bunch of cards. So. If, Shall I show you how it works? Let's, 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 let's go ahead. Let's kill this little guy. So uh, Nero is going to move, not not six, but just one, two. That's his run done. Yep. So now he's up in this guy's face. And I'm going to play a card from my basic attacks. Okay. Now, as well as your hand of cards, you yep. have a basic attack section. Uh, and these are kind of always available to you. Yes. So you've got various useful things that generally start combos off. Yeah. So if I put rapid rapid swing up here into my combo chain, okay. I can then show you how things work. Please do. So a card has got a bunch of things. First of all is this, the, the, the chain links. Yeah. So this is how you build combos. Think of it a bit like dominoes, you're, yeah. you're matching icons. Some cards, like aimed shot here, have got this blank chain, yeah. which means they just effectively take on the colour of the card to their left. So that becomes blue. It becomes a blue chain. You effectively right. ignore it for purposes of, it can slot in any way you like. Yes. And that's because, you know, obviously you can just blam away the blue rows and shoot some things wherever you yeah. like. But in this case I've played Rapid Swing. So I've got this starter link which comes off my combo board here. Okay. And this then leads into my attack. So if this is, this is my hit grid. Yep. The central hex represents Nero okay. facing up the card. Yep. And that means he does one point of damage to an enemy directly in front of him. So we'll take okay, one damage you... token. Oh, thank you very much. One onto this end, please. Um, more importantly, up here I've got two icons which are lit up, which is the knockback and follow. Okay. Icons. So knockback means I'm going to knock this guy back one hex. Yep. And I'm going to follow him up. Okay. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Mo uh, fighting is not static in the game. You're always no. moving around the board, trying to position yourself to get the most hits in, especially when you look at the way the different attack grids work. Yeah. And you'll see this in a moment. It becomes really important to do this. And then I'm leading into the blue combo chain here. So okay. I've got a bunch of blue cards in my deck. I've got some in my hand here. Very I'll show, good. Oh, look, I'll show you to the camera. I've got some cards here with lovely blue chains. And these will be kept secret from the other players, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. They, they, they don't know what you're going to Yeah, throw out. completely. Now, what we'll cover later on in the enemy phase properly is you also lose some of these cards when you get hit generally. Ah. So you try to, you know, you're like, do I save the card for the right moment or just use it? Yeah. But anyway, I've done this, so I'm now going to uh, follow, follow on with another card from here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play a card, oh, yeah. not in the chain, which is Wire Snatch. And I'm sure we can get a graphic of this one up on the screen. Uh, what this does is I can grab this other Impusa over here and reel him in, reel him in oh, ready yeah. to get hit some more. Nice. So that's a funky move. A, yeah. Nero's got some things like that where he can kind of grab people and pull them forward. Nice. And I'm going to follow up straight away with a falling swing. Like okay. A big, so that's diagonal one slash. One damage to the guy damage in front. To each. And one to the guy to the, to the side there. What I will do as well, I'll push him back around to there yep. and follow him up. Nice. So there we go, that is my second card. I don't think these Empusas are long for this world. They've only got five, five health each, so they're only little, you yeah. know? They're not going to last very long. What's interesting is you don't, you're not limited effectively no. uh, in how many cards you can play. You can use all you your just cards. Keep You've going, got a hand just of five going. plus your basics, so you can keep on going. Yep. But of course you want to keep some for defence, which we'll cover later. Uh, so I'm going to follow this up with a little aimed shot, fling in a little okay. volley from Blue Rose there. And, Let's so level them out. Onto the side, yes, Two so damage each, each, there we go. Uh, which I'll then immediately follow with a blade arc. Now that Ooh. puts one damage on the guy that's in front of me. Okay. And two, two over here. If there was someone yeah. round here but to my side as well, that he would also get uh, some, some damage. Oh, nice. I'm going to push them both back and follow up. Yep. And then I'm going to finish my chain with the last card in my hand. So I'm going all out here. This going is a power in. slam. Bang, straight down Bot. with Red Queen. That's four damage to the guy in front of me, or the so, Pusa well, in front of me. And uh, one to this one over here, which is going to kill them both. Kills them both, wow. Absolutely. Now, they would generally drop a whole load of red orbs, and I'd pick those up, and yeah. we'll cover that later. Most importantly, 
This claims my combo. Now, generally, you can claim okay. your combo once per turn. This lets you yeah. wipe out all the cards in your chain, start a new one. Yep. And you can do that once once per turn, but yeah. with certain finisher moves, I was going to say there's bonus. no there's no extra chain on the end there, so this is a finisher. Exactly. So I can okay. now do uh, this here, and I will, I will score points based on the number of cards I cash in. So I'm okay. cashing in one, two, three, four, five cards. Would normally get me three points, but yep. playing the finisher doubles it to six. Oh, nice. So six points. Thank you very much. My basic cards that I've played return down to here. Okay. Everything else gets discarded. And if I wanted to, if I had any cards left to play, or if I wanted to use my basics, I could continue. Go on again. Oh, exactly. very nice, very nice. So, uh, yeah, that's the hunter phase in a nutshell. Then I'd have my go, it would go clockwise around the table. Yep. And when it comes around to me, I'd control the enemies in the enemy phase. Okay, well, in our next video, we'll be going through that enemy phase. And be sure to back this on Kickstarter. It's only available for one week. So make sure you get on board and get those Kickstarter exclusives and bring the project to life. And we'll see you again very shortly.